in all of it, uh, at like the rain, like being in the storm, I just was like, okay, well, here I am. I'm wet already. Yeah. Let me just allow it. Yeah, I feel that. You know, and that's part of who we are as the feminine in, in the terms of deep surrender, you know, and just relaxing into what is and allowing what to be will be because we're not actually in control anyway. And we know that, you know, a lot of us are at the point where like, oh yeah, I get that I'm not in control, but what does it actually really, really mean to surrender to not being in control? That means not being irritable about it or pissy about it or like, you know, blamey or judgmental about much anything, including the state of the world, which it's a, it's a, that's the challenge, you know? It's really easy to say, yeah, I surrender. I'm not in control, but it's like, what does that actually really mean? That really actually means being with it, you know? And, um, and having to trust that it's part of the plan. It's just all part of it. And once we do relax into that, once we do surrender into that, that's when we can start getting the downloads and the revelations about ourselves and how we can show up stronger and harder for the world, for the people in our lives, for ourselves. That's the surrender. It's so true because there also is something that we can do to like create that path, right? Like there is a part that we can, a role that we can play, even if we're surrendering we can play a role in the creation process. And I think yes. it would be a wonderful way to hear more about what you're going to be offering in Pussy Church this Sunday in the session called Calling It In. Can you tell us more about that? I'd love to, you know, and it's, it's similar to actually this conversation. It's like, can we surrender to our own orgasm? When that orgasm like wants to come, when we're starting to feel good, can we drop out of our head into our heart space and be allow ourselves to feel that pleasure so that we can actually release and let go of control and allow the pleasure and the orgasm to take over our body, mind, and soul. And in that space, we become a clear channel for our desires because there's nothing blocking it. Right? But how do we get there? How do we even get to that point? And that's where calling it in comes in. Because the self-intimacy aspect of, of allowing ourselves and trusting ourselves enough to release and let go is the part that allows us to lead us successfully into the ecstatic bliss. Thank you, Sabrina. I, I'm, I'm loving this connection between like... Um being able to like surrender to what's happening and how like in that surrender we're actually creating we actually have the space to create yeah. from that does that fit is that what you yeah is absolutely yeah which is such a shift because usually we think of surrender as like giving up or weakness mm -hmm. or at least that's how i've come to know it in the past mm -hmm but it's so wonderful to be relearning the true meaning of surrender.